I am live. Hello, everyone. My name is Leanna from Love Learning STEM. And today I'm going to be talking to you about my fourth grade science units. So if you've had any questions about where to find digital links, what do they look like, what's inside of them, um, and if any of them are growing bundles and what can be expected in the times to come, then this is the video for you. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to share um, the screen so you could see all the units for fourth grade. Okay, so here you should be able to see um, the fourth grade science units. So you are right now they're on sale on TPT. So um, these are probably the lowest they'll ever be uh, for the rest of time. Um, and here you're going to find the fourth grade complete bundle, the mega bundle of all the different five units. And the first unit is the kinetic and potential energy unit. And I offer that with both digital and paper version. So this is the digital paper version. And the only, if I've had teachers request just paper versions and that makes it cheaper, obviously. Um, and so this is the paper only version. Here I have the animal and plant structure and function, uh, function unit and the earth, uh, earth science unit, the human impact unit, and then lastly, the waves and information unit. Now, I wanted to go straight into the energy unit. Um, this is the only complete unit, and so all the others are growing bundles. As you can tell, that the price um, is higher than the other ones because these two are complete. And so once the others get complete within the next few months, the price will match that of the energy uh, units. So let's get straight into the paper only version. Um, so the paper only version, when you click into the version, this is something that you I mean, I love this unit completely. But when you purchase this unit, you're going to get one download and it's a PDF. Um, you can also go down to the bonus file. Let's see, oh, that hasn't been added yet. I think that's for the digital. So you download that PDF. And within that PDF, you will have both. So this is the energy one teacher's guide, you're going to have both the teacher's guide and the student guide, which is the student journal. So you start with the teacher's guide and you'll have the table of contents here on page 57, the student journal should, should begin. So if you only want to print the student journal, then you print from 57 onto 106. But the teacher's guide looks like this. Um, it shows you exactly what's in this resource. You'll have the teacher packet, the student packet, and then it'll explain all the lessons and activities quickly and the assessments. So everything is included in this one PDF, easy to access, and easy to find. Um, you'll have an overview of the module of the unit and of the standards. So it'll explain in detail um, why this resource was created and why the certain things were done the way they were. And then you'll have the breakdown of the NGSS science topics. And so whatever you see in this uh, specific unit, you are going to see the replicas in the other units, only it'll be pertaining to those units. So um, this is going to be the breakdown of the different standards and the essential questions and um, which units will include which standards. That's great if you need to show your principal or administrators. Um, and then you'll have the unit overview of exactly what the students are going to be going through, because this is based on a real life problem with STEM um, uh, and the NGSS STEM standards also included. So the students are thinking about a design problem all while they're learning about energy, because it's all one complete unit. And at the end, they have to do a design problem with everything they've learned thus far. And um, and here you'll see additional resources, books, and then videos. These are all videos that I've shown in my class time and time again, and any two website, any websites that I will, um, that you can either get more information in, or I will be referring to in the unit. Here are the materials needed. Um, so these are all basic materials, and it also does include anything for the STEM challenge, which is the design problem at the very end of the unit. And then you will have the overview of the different parts of the um, 
energy unit. So this energy unit has five different parts. The first part is about energy basics. Second part is potential and kinetic energy. Third is speed and energy. And you'll see that I've included the objectives, the vocabulary, and the different activities. So you don't have to guess as to what, what's going on, what you need to do. Um, everything is right there written for you. And here's part four, energy transfer. And the fifth part is the design challenge. So again, you've got vocabulary and the activities. And all of these activities are highly engaging, but also very academic in nature. So the students are writing, reading, using academic vocabulary, um, writing. If I didn't mention that, they are writing. And I'll, I'll show you those pages, too. So here are the lesson slides and video links. So the best thing about buying these units when they're complete is that they have the units, the, the lessons with videos explaining the different lessons. So if you have no idea what these, uh, what energy is, what transfer of energy is, what the standards you need to teach to complete them, you would simply watch me teaching to the PowerPoints that you have access to. So you can either show your students those videos or you can sh um, save them for when you're, let's say you have a student that's absent, you can share that in a Google Classroom and say, hey, this is the, these are the PowerPoints you missed, or if you wanna review, go back and watch these. And so these are gonna be really helpful for you. And I think these are like gold, um, especially when you're in a new grade and you're teaching something completely new. And then you will have the lessons broken down. <clears throat> Um, here is the lesson. This is for part one. So what you saw in part one over here, energy basics, you're going to have that broken down into different sections. So first you're going to have the, <clears throat> the, the first part and the second part and third part. And some of the lessons will only have three. Some of them will have two. Some of them will have, let's see. Yeah, this one has two. It all depends on what's in that section uh, for that unit. And as you can tell, lesson part the lesson part five is just a design challenge. So the part five one. So these are the lessons written easily for the teachers for you to be able to read and implement. There's no um, fancy language. It's for you to be able to read it and understand exactly how you're supposed to do it. Okay, so once you get through that, you are gonna have some design challenge tips because the last Lesson a, a part is going to be the design challenge, which is a STEM challenge, but it's much bigger than that. The students are doing a design problem based on everything they've learned, so it's going to take them a little bit longer. Um, and if you are new to any of this, I've included uh, blog posts, any type of um, anything you might need to help you get started, and also a freebie on how to organize groups into roles while they build. So anything you may need to like understand how to group students, how to transition students, how to make them move around. So all that will be here. Okay, so once you go through that, you'll see the vocabulary words, teacher's notes, here are ways you can use them. And these are the vocabulary words the students will need to know. <clears throat> And you see this is the teacher version, but you'll see that the students also have the empty pages that they need to fill out because so important. Um, so these are the different words. And of course you can add to them. I did leave an empty page just for that. And then you'll start seeing the different activity directions. So here's the flip book direction. Um, when it's time to do the flip book, you'll see it in the lessons breakdown and you'll see, okay, let me, I don't know how to do that. And you may, you may know how to do it, but if you don't, these are the directions for you. So you, you directions on how to open it and when to use it or when to display it and what it looks like at the end. And then you'll have different ways you can use the task cards because I use them, they're in this unit, how to use them to review just different concepts, especially when you have inter intervention groups and you, your students don't understand the vocabulary yet. These are really great examples on how to use them. And then you have your assessments. You have different variety of assessments because I get it, we're all different. We like different kinds of assessments. So you'll have these different options and you will also have the paper versions. Uh, well, this is only paper. So you'll have the paper versions available to you here. Very simple, only a few questions on each page and you'll have the options for that to print whichever one you want.
Okay, next you will have the different activities that you pass out that's not in the journal, the student's journal. So pass, uh, things you pass out that are either displayed on boards um, and don't belong in a journal, student journal. So here's the flag for kinetic energy. This one's potential. Here's the flip book that you would need to print out. And this is the task card sheet and any assessment keys for the assessments. Oh, there are also reading comprehension forms within the student journals. And these are gonna be the uh, answer keys for the reading comprehension as well. I believe there are three or four in these units. Okay, you'll, you'll have all the assessment keys. And then you will get into the student journal. So it, it looks just like the teachers, except it says this journal belongs to and the student writes their name. These are wonderful because they use it for a few months and they have all their information in this journal and they get to look back and test and just it's just a wonderful show of work that you can display during uh, learning showcases and parent conferences. Um, here is the tie. You can also use this without color title page. And you'll have a table of contents for the students. And you can include that or not, whatever you choose. And then you'll start having the lecture slide notes because the lectures that I recorded for you in YouTube and the PowerPoints that I created for you in Google Slides, the students will have their slide notes that they can take notes on with specific questions. Um, in a summary. So you'll have that for every uh, lecture, which are five, five separate parts, five uh, lectures. And then you'll get into the different uh, reading comprehension. So let's say um, earlier in the teacher guide, it said uh, part one in the unit, you are going to be doing the reading comprehension with this activity. You're, you can look at the table of contents and tell the students, okay, students, you are going to be looking at page 12 today. We are going to be reading. So, so you know exactly what page everything is, and it's super easy to maneuver for both you and your students. So that is the, um, those are the reading comprehension. So you'll have questions, free response, and there are four different sets, but you don't read them all at once. You read them at different parts of the unit. Okay. So uh, there is multiple activities in this unit and they're titled exactly how they're written in the teacher guide. So this is one of the activities, a demonstration reflection. You have energy video notes. So in one of the activities, the students watch videos and take notes on um, whatever they saw. They have to learn about restraint systems and who they're used for and why, what type of protection. And then they learn about, uh, they, there's this web quest they go through to learn about different types of energy, um, heat transfer, um, all that different things. And they are going to click on these links and the students will be able or type these into their search bar and copy paste and they get to access the video or what page that they need to access to learn about that, or you can simply copy paste the um, title into a web page and see it. And then they answer the questions, and then by the end, they will be able to um, complete the web quest. Here are a few labs that they do go through. These are hands on labs, and the materials are listed in the teacher module. Um, but these modules are simply just the best in the design challenge and you'll see that includes everything. So with the rubric and the recording sheet and even some early finisher work at the very end so the students um, can do that. So you will see that the vocabulary words are at the very end and you choose what you want to have printed. Um, but that is what the energy unit looks like, okay? Uh, when you go to the if you decide you want the digital and print version, you are going to click downloads and you'll have access to the PDF, the PDF version, but also the digital links that will be included. And you'll have, uh, let's see where it has the bonus file. I think when you purchase this, you see, oh, uh, yeah, here it is. 
the bonus file. So because when you click download, it'll download all of these different uh, 27 products as one zip file, and it's too much work going through all that. So what I want you to do is go to the bonus student and teacher guides, download it, and you'll have access to that entire set that you just saw. Plus, I'm going to add all the digital links, which it is on literally one page. So instead of looking through all these different files, which are 27 files, I just made it easier for you. So you go to student and teacher guides and you can have access to all the digital links on one page listed out neatly. And you'll also have the two teacher and student guides. So that is what um, are in these complete units. Now, I do highly suggest you purchase the, the bundle because it is the least expensive it is going to be ever because I am adding resources every single day to these four other units. Um, currently, the units have task cards, assessments. Some of them have flipbooks. Some of them have web quests. As you can tell, this one has seven, and I'm going to add lessons, reading comprehension. Some of them do already have that or mystery pictures but more will be added. And so um, even if it doesn't have all the, let's say components of what the module units should have, you will still see that they have the teacher guide with digital links and suggested order of activities. And it's just a quick breakdown. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and download it. It's a quick breakdown. I'm gonna skim through it quickly because it has the list of links. Um, so here are the forced copy links. I, will, I skimmed through that quickly, but as you can tell, they're kind of in there and you can click the links one page. And then you'll have a suggested order of activities because this unit is not yet complete. You won't have all the beautiful pages I had in the first energy unit, but they are coming in the next couple of months. Um, so that is uh, what is going on with these units. And I'm very excited to share this with you. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. And don't forget, they are all on sale on TPT until tomorrow, which is September 1st. So if you see this later on, make sure you log on to um, lovelearningstem.com and sign up for the email list so you know about all the different promotions or sales that are coming up. Um, and I will see you all next time.